Today, we join many others here at the Scott Galvin Community Center in experiencing what is TransCon. This is the state of Florida's only conference by and for transgender and non-binary people scheduled for 2023. After three years, TransCon is back, aiming to provide a safe space for the trans and non-binary community in South Florida. Hosted by the Aqua Foundation for Women, the convention aims to provide many resources to the community. Numerous booths were also active throughout the day, where attendees could find information on resources in the local area. One of the speakers at the event was Dr. Natasha Polupoulos, a licensed psychologist and principal consultant at Dr. Tash, which is an advocate for gender and sexual diversity, aiming to establish a safe and inclusive community for LGBTQ plus patients, families, and colleagues. My hope is that legislation starts leading on the experts, so the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, who created guidelines that say that affirming inclusive spaces increase belongingness and reduce mental health disparities among LGBTQ plus students. FIU's Pride Student Union also took part in hosting a gender-affirming material drive where attendees had the ability to pick out free clothes and gender-affirming garments. To provide these resources, however, has gradually become difficult, as earlier this year, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has gone through signing various anti-LGBTQ plus bills, mainly targeting trans Floridians, such as limiting their access to health care and creating an unsafe environment for them to live in. A law can't break up community. A law can stop care. A law can ban the care. Laws can ban the funding. You can maybe get the names, for, but you can never erase the LGBTQ community. And right now, in these times, you saw in the last in the last few years, the Florida community has gotten so strong. We the events like this are life saving. Although concerning, these actions do not stop many supporters from finding ways to combat these laws and find ways around them to keep helping those in need of support and care. While Florida legislatures keep passing anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, the Aqua Foundation continues to provide support for the community alongside many local community partners.